hate to say it to ya, hate to break it to ya, but we ain't gon' make it cause this just ain't no true love. Uh -huh. Yeah, we started out as friends, uh -huh. parked out in my bins, yeah. and on my window ten, so we start to get it in. <laughs> Fast forward, now we arguing again, again and again and again, again over every little thing. I'm, I'm like, when will it end? end? Something told me get to rolling, pack your shit and hit the ten. So that's just what I did. Yep, I slid about that bitch, but before I hit the road, at, at least I leave a little note. note. Like to hear it, hear it go. This don't choke on my smoke, cause I'm gone. Cause I'm gone. Adios. Adios. Am I partially or hardly sorry? No. Bombing knows. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Thank you for joining us on a brand new episode of The Les Factor, where all the lesbians are great and the conversation is even better. So, anyway, let's get started. All right, first question. It says, what do you think is the key to wooing women as as a woman? She said, I feel like the game is so weak right now with just some shady ass DMs. Mm. Bianca? I think the key is being yourself. I mean, it's like you either got it or you don't. Um, and if you connect with the individual, it's going to happen for you. So that's all I got. Uzo? Mm. I think the key to wooing a woman is that you become, be the person you want to be with, first of all. Because mm. that way, you only, you'll attract mm. yeah. someone that you actually want so that you can actually do all the things that you want to do for them and actually have fun but you have to be the person you want to attract first before you go looking for anybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, th I feel like you had to be a little bit more personable mm -hmm. um because we think the quickest way to like hit somebody up is through their dms through emails x y and z find a way to like reach out to them mm. pop up i don't know like don't pop up don't pop up no. <laughs> <laughs> In some way that's different. Right. In some way that's different than the what they know. Came out of you right there. Yeah. It's like, you up. just pop up. And nah. like, I dare yeah. you. Yeah. That's Sorry. never happened. But I'm saying like pop up in some way that they know. I mean, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. Tasha? I just think you, sh you, sh you have to be old school. Like um, send flowers to the job and take them out on dates and call and send text messages just telling them you miss them or you love them or you're thinking about them just old school shit mm -hmm. old school shit yeah okay. nick i'm in a grand i love a good woo <laughs> <laughs> yes i just to your point i think it's about authenticity mm -hmm. and as soon as you start acting like something that you're not mm -hmm. we stop we see you mm -hmm. we see, we see we you see and you. we see through you mm -hmm. nah. shante i think everybody on this couch is lying <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck I think. I think that, uh, <laughs> no, you know what it is, is I've been doing this spiritual journey and I've been trying to be the best being I could be. And I have gotten absolutely no ass. With doing <laughs> but I have gotten ass with being an asshole or just mm. being a different person. I say that to say I'm very comfortable and I'm happy with being as corny as I can be and being who I want to be because I think that's the best thing about actually finding somebody mm -hmm. that can relate to that. I think that's a beautiful fucking thing. And I think we really all want to get to that place. But I think the dating game is a little hard right now Yeah. for me. And I, I'm not egotistic or anything, but I think I'm attractive. I think that I offer a lot. And I think I got a lot coming in my life. Um, so if you want to slide away, right. go ahead and do that now. At C Wayne's. Y'all better not slide in her DMs. Y'all better not slide in her DMs. She's taking. She, she did say it in the video. No, no, no. But as cocky as I might just seem, I'm being real. Like, it's still hard for me to fucking find somebody that I really want. This is this is a mechanism. This is a fucking alter ego that I get to play with because I'm a comedian and shit. But real talk, that's not who I am all the time. Mm. And I literally can't find somebody that uh, accepts me daily. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> she looks at me like, oh, <laughs> I forgot you were here. <laughs> I forgot yeah. you. No, no, no. But as, but as yeah, you know, you. real as it seems, it's, it's, it's not real. Yeah, I mean, I, I think definitely speaking to like old school stuff, like mm -hmm. I think making gestures is important. It's like a, a DM means jack shit to me. Mm. Um, 
even a letter. I think sending cards, like to to get a to get something in the mail that's not like a bill. You're like, oh my god, Ooh. you went you went to the yeah. store. Yes. You went to what is that paper it's stores it's or it's some it's shit it's and got a card mm-hmm. and mailed it to me. You put the pen to paper. You know what I'm saying? That papyrus moment. Because I do that sometimes. You know, for people, I send them cards or something in the mail. Like, what's your address? Send them a letter, something handwritten, and from the heart, take the time to like express to them something that's different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I feel about this address. I'm not. No, no. I mean, I mean, but if I'm trying to, but if I'm trying to woo, not not woo you, is that like I never met you and I don't know you're not gonna give me your address? Not like that. Like, I feel like that doesn't exist. Today. No, I do. No, that. it needs. We need to bring it uh, back. That's a little weird. <laughs> and not, no, you, I think that's actually sweet, it but I don't is. think that's what people is accepting. I, I'm not saying that that's what other people do. I'm just saying that's what I do. Mm. Also, I think that we should make phone calls more often. Yeah, yes. I like to hear people's voices. Oh, listen, I'm listen, good listen, on the phone you know, too. And if I care about, about you, I would definitely spend some time talking to you. If yeah. I don't, please Call text me. me. <laughs> Because I don't have the time. Like, seriously. No. But yeah, I think, you know, if you go the extra step, I think that, that is definitely key in making somebody feel like you t- appreciate them and their time True. and that they're taking the time yeah. to talk to you. Yeah. True. Also, if, they're, if they don't reciprocate, it's okay also. You yeah, know? It is. Like, cause, if, cause if they next. don't, yeah. They don't reciprocate next. So let me let me say that. Okay, I, I get that. The whole, the whole thing. It's just like, I've learned to not expect expect that though yeah you can't expect it mm-hmm. no and i did for a while I'm just a like, lot of people fuck? do you know yeah. you know they're gonna hit me back and they're gonna be back on like text messaging calling x y and z we just gonna dm yeah no if i call you you text I'm me very back old school. i'm very old school <laughs> no. as well very old school so it's so, like you look young though I, Thanks. I think that she is, is, is young. What's her old school? Like, what is your old school? Like, let's let's see how old you are. What is this? You think I what? mean, my father, my father was, my father and my mother had a huge age gap between them. A huge one. And it's like, he's my grandfather and she was my mother. So I was raised from the Southern old school man who dealt with the racism, all of that shit, even in the military where we fight for our country, but still, you know, you're you're just a black man. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where I'm coming from. So I still carry that no matter what. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Next question was, I was in a three year relationship with a woman I love deeply, but the love was not reciprocated. Now that I moved on to bigger and better, she, her new girl, her friends and their family, her family are all following me. Should I address this or I just I continue to ignore it? Bianca, why are they following her? <laughs> That's not a question. I have no idea. That's, That's so <laughs> weird to me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, she's hurt by this, so she's addressing the fact that she was in a relationship that was loveless and that was not reciprocated. So just block all of them. That's block them hoes. Block them. If you feel a shade, block that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. You need to make a song, block that bitch. There's a guy online and he has a thing. He had a whole like New Year's twenty, I think it was twenty eighteen. He was like, if you if you feel shade, block that bitch. If you think they ain't right, block that bitch. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and I blocked a lot of bitches. But or, anyway. or I I love that mute mute button. Oh, they have a Wait, new what? New what? Button. what? What is that? I don't want to see certain things. So if I don't, if I was like ah, I still like her, but I don't like who she who she's with, I just mute. Yeah. So that means they still follow you, you still follow them, but they don't show up in your timeline. Exactly. At all. At all. I mean, How do you I'm do that? I'm my content, you know, I just want positivity and I don't want yeah. my day to be shaken up. Because mm. okay. mm. you guys to control you. Yeah. You know? yeah. So know Uzo, what do you, do you think she should address it or continue to ignore it? Why are we still talking about this person? Because you're the second person to answer the question in line. Not you. I'm not asking the person. No, no, I'm not asking. Right she's not real. You have to, you're a Gemini, you're thinking about both sides. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it, but anyway. Um, no. Yeah, no, I'm not asking the question. I think that uh, if, it's, uh, if it's affecting you, I think you, know, you can fo- unfollow them, mm-hmm. block them, or I don't think you need to have a conversation about it. I think you should just let it go. Move on with your bigger and better life. You're doing great, so just let them go. Mello? And block them. Yeah. You need to control one more time. It said, right. I was in a three-year relationship with a woman I love deeply, but the love was not reciprocated. Now that I've moved on to bigger and better, she, her new girl, her friends, and her family are all following me. I miss me. that new girl, too. Should I address it or continue to ignore it? And the new girl. Family has loved me, regardless. And okay, they moms, love moms, aunts, Grannies, all of that shit gonna follow me <laughs> at the end of the day. 
I haven't used my block button for one time in my whole entire life. Okay. I'm past 30. Put it out there. Past 30. So what, you're 30 and a half? <laughs> not even. Not, not, I mean, not even. Not even. Okay. But what I'm saying is like, I mean, that's just how it is. It's like, I, I will not cut off the family members. I will not, like, I, I respect everybody. That's just, that's just how it is, yeah. Tasha? So the family members are newly following this. That's what it sounds like. She was like her, 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 her new girl. Oh, okay. Her friends okay. and her family are all following. I'm like, I would love that. <laughs> I want them to go back and tell her like how great I'm doing. Like it's that's just the Leo in me. Like I, <laughs> oh, I don't Leo. care. Uh, I will allow them to uh, see my growth and what uh, I'm doing. I would just I wouldn't mind them following me. You want all. them to see the glow up? Why not? Next. That's what they're there for. I feel the same way, but I, I do feel like it depends on what my insides tell me. Cause there's some things that like, it could be as simple as a like, and it'll make me just, it's like rubbing that cat backwards. Mm. It's like, oh God, <laughs> it's rubbing annoying. And I don't want to be annoyed all day and trying to like, but some people see that as an exercise. Like when you see people engaged that you don't care to engage with, you slowly but surely get over it. That's not me. <laughs> So I probably would have to block depending upon who's engaging mm -hmm. in my content. Mm -hmm. Following me is like, okay, but yeah. if I see your name every other day, you're acknowledging my presence, but you don't speak to me. It's like weird. Mm -hmm. It can get weird. Mm -hmm. Text. Question. Uh, <laughs> three years she been. Really the question sure. was, now that I moved on to bigger and better, she, her, the ex. So the ex is new girl. Did her, they all know her before that? She makes it seem like they're newly following her. Yeah, that's weird. So yeah. Yeah, that's literally yeah, that's all you would say if they were like a part of it beforehand, it would be a little different. Mm -hmm. um, but if they're all following her now, uh, you might want to call the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like I haven't had that issue except for one time. One of my exes, some girl just hit me up randomly, like out of nowhere. And she was like, oh, I just want to send you love, which whatever. I go to her page. And on her cover photo on Facebook, it was my ex was on one side, then it was her, and then it was a girl that I fucked once on the other side. Oh, and I was just like, this is real weird. So then I hit up my ex, like, who is this person? I was like, who is this person? And she was like, oh, you know, I'm dating a couple people, we're in an open relationship, yada, yada, yada. And then the girl hits me up, like, oh, why you hit up my girl, woo, 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 trying to start drama. I said, and she called her by a nickname. I said, number one, called her by her government. Government uh, is my ex, so I was just checking to make sure that this wasn't some weird shit, because your lesbians do weird shit. And I said, so calm all of that down. And you know who's not together? Her and her <laughs> anymore. And then the other motherfucker that she had on the page, I was like, and that's somebody that I, I had fucked with. Right. She was like, oh, I just idolized her. I'm like, that's great. You shouldn't. But, <laughs> you know, I find it weird. So I'm with Kaori. Like, it's a little weird. So it depends mm -hmm. on where people are coming from. And I need to know what your intentions are. Mm -hmm. Like, if your intentions are to follow me to report back, then I need to know that. But other than that, shit, watch this glow up. It's about to be amazing. That's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying. Y'all can all day. follow. Yeah. Increase my numbers. Shit, Thank like you. my shit, comment on my shit. I don't give a fuck. It's amazing. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. The glow up is so real. It is. It's like, so shit is real. happening. You don't have to speak for it. No. It just happens. Is there speaking for itself? There's no work behind it. So we had uh, a younger follower hit us up, and she said, can you be a lesbian if you hadn't, haven't had sex with a girl? but are only attracted to them, or do you fall somewhere else on the spectrum? What? Can you be a lesbian? She, I guess she wants to know if she can identify as a lesbian and she hasn't had sex with a girl yet. She ain't had sex with nobody? Or just girls? You been sexing men? All she said was, I haven't had sex with a girl, I promise. That's what the card said. I have no idea. Well, she I mean, be a but did she like body rock on the dude? You know what I'm I don't saying? think like, you body rock on the dude. I think they want to stick it in you. No, I've body rocked on a lot of niggas before. Uh, <laughs> Came out the closet. I guess we're um, starting this way, uh huh. No, I'm gonna be real. I Ooh, fucking right. body rock. That was the best thing about me finding out that I was a lesbian because I rock. never wanted a dick in me. I just wanted to body rock on something. But for the question, <laughs> can you call yourself a lesbian? We're trying you know? to figure this out. So, but do you think they can call themselves a lesbian if they haven't had sex with a woman? That is the question. Do you know the answer? <laughs> what is your answer? Um, could you be a lesbian if you haven't had sex with a female? But they're attracted to. But women. you're only attracted to women. You're only attracted to women. I mean, listen, I was, I was body rocking on a pillow <laughs> and tissue <laughs> in the bathroom for fucking uh, Jason's lyrics. I mean, that scene. <laughs> 
and the goddamn field with her and goddamn Jason. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she. Um, she don't have an answer, answer. Nick. <laughs> that's my answer. That's your answer? Okay. okay. You can. You can. If you can watch pornos uh, that's similar to. Oh. I didn't know Jason's lip was a porno, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said she's younger, so I'm just going to assume she has no sexual history. We'll go with that. So, I don't think young people should try to identify with anything. I think they need to have that experience before they can truly commit to something like that. Okay. Tasha? Um, I think you can. If you're young and you know what you're attracted to, absolutely. Some of us is born gay. And even though, you know, we don't know, we never had that experience, but we know what we like from a young age. Mm -hmm. I got an issue with that though. What's, what's the issue? My issue with that is that when you are in your social setting mm -hmm. and you, I, you say, I'm lesbian and mm -hmm. you're, I don't know, 12, we'll just say mm -hmm. 15. And then three, four months, five years, however long later, you start messing with dudes and mm -hmm. them same people are looking at you with the judgment from your previous like i just i feel like when you attach yourself to something you then have to live mm -hmm. up to these obligations mm -hmm. i'm vegan everywhere i go people are like is that vegan girl is it vegan yeah. that, if what if i change my mind one day what Listen, if i wanted to be a, a that's a good but 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 in general it's like then that goes we shouldn't have labels i don't because because as a stud myself i love vagina however i believe in connection and mm -hmm. I believe that I can never say never, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why I probably wouldn't transform into a dude mm -hmm. because I don't know who the fuck I'm going to be in 20 years. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I will go back to dudes. That just means that I don't know how I'm going to want to have Evolve. sex. Yeah, you don't know. So that's that's I all. That. Right. And but you know what? In that's high also school. for me not to say that I can't fall in love with a dude. I think love is love yeah. and connection is connection. Absolutely. I don't know what sex is like. But connection is connection. Yeah, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. I think that, I mean, you know what you know. I mean, you know what you like mm -hmm. at an early age. I mean, speaking for myself, I was into, what is this movie? It's Angelina Jolie played this movie and she was Gia. betraying someone else. Gia. Please, Gia. Gia. Okay. It's, 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 I know, baby. I know, baby. I know she had AIDS in her You still want to cover <laughs> So Gia, at a young age, um, showed me that you like what you like. I mean, there was a guy in the picture and there was a girl in the picture. I'm not, I'm not a gold star. So it's like, you know, I've learned so much from her in that, in that role to like be who I want to be. And I mean, that's who I am today. Mm -hmm. I'll never change regardless. I'm open to a lot of things as she was, but I'm very sure in myself right now. I'm never closed off though. And I, and I really respect her role in that, in that film. Ozo? Um, I think the definition of a lesbian is just two women who like each other, right? So I'm assuming, you know, so I think that I feel like if you know, because a lot of times it takes a long time to figure out what you like. If you're saying this person is claiming to be attracted only uniquely to women, so I would say, yeah, you're a lesbian. It's okay to claim that. You don't have to have sex with a woman to claim that. If you know that you're attracted to women, I would say you're a lesbian. You know, if that's what you prefer. I don't agree. Why? Okay. Because this... I feel like just because you yeah. like bitches don't mean you gay. Why they gotta be bitches? Though? Why can't they be queens? Why can't they be queens? Nah, yeah. son. So you married you Listen, no, so you don't know what that means. Okay, no, uh, it's just, I feel like we can come up with a better yeah. word. Like, it's just so, she it's suffocating. Like the word, no, no, not the end word. No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's a, just, no, but I'm just saying, it's I like, I feel like we house. can come up with a better word to describe ourselves. Whether or not you're talking about yourself, whether it's your enemy, whether, you know, we're still human beings at the end of the day. I'm you, just, you, I'm, but I'm you, just, but you're a complete. Oh, no, she needs to you. Sit down. Wait, I want to hear what that. I that. But that wasn't yeah. my angle. My yeah, angle, no, I know, that's I know. Not I'm highlighting no, I understand. because you like women does not mean that you're gay. You could just be into. I mean, women. if you're attracted, uh, no, no, but they're I, saying they're. Yes, go ahead. I was gonna say because in in the world of a stud, 
thought mm -hmm. you're living a different life yeah. than studs, then I feel like you still have a different opinion yeah. than all of us. No, in, I, in I, some I, which, sense. which I don't want to have the same opinions because everyone's going to have, we're right, all different right, right. individuals. But it's beautiful have, though. I know that. It's beautiful Thank at you. the same I time. Like, that. No, no, you. And no, I think you're shit. beautiful. I think, you're, I think Man, everyone's Man. perspective is beautiful. This this is real yeah. though because yeah. as a, you know as a stud you can't say certain things. Why, Why not? not? Because all right. No, so, I'm sure and I don't mean to bring my comedy in this, but I'm no, going to no, bring no, it to. I'm going to bring, I'm gonna bring my comedy. I'm going to bring my comedy into this and say that sometimes I go on stage mm -hmm. and I've been trying to be more voiceful about the fact that, uh, fuck, even as a stud. I have I have different opinions because I just believe in love. I believe in connection. I believe in a lot of beautiful mm -hmm. things. That doesn't mean that I will do some of the things that I believe in, mm -hmm. but I, I just love love. Yeah. I just really do. So I say that to say in my stand up, I might get on stage and say certain things about being a stud and how fucking, you know, the shit was easy, but I want to get out this life because I picked the boy role and I don't want to do this shit no more. But I say this to say I love love. But I feel like you can't talk about certain things as a certain role. Why? Because she really does. Certain as a stud, I can't go. I I can never pull out of the gay game and be like, I want to have a baby. Like like truthfully, if I'm well, last episode, I you know, you know, said no, she wanted no, to have wait. a baby. I know no, that. I know that. Wait. That's why no, I wish wait, I was in that no, last but episode. You, you do understand no. that this is a box you created for yourself. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I get that. That's, okay. I'm not very that person, that. but I also battle with it at the same time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there are studs that don't feel that way. Mm -hmm. That's why when she said what she said. After she got off the screen, I was like, bro, mm -hmm. this is beautiful it is. because yeah. studs can't talk about this yeah. and you're sexy. No, no, and they, they can't this, talk about it. They, they don't. Mm. They can't sure. talk about it, They don't. But there's a lot of people that follow her. Mm -hmm. And just imagine if she uh, hid that voice. Mm -hmm. Imagine if yeah. she yeah. never said that. Exactly. Then, then sure. all the people that loved her would we'll never get to hear that. But she guess afraid. what? She's guess afraid. what? Her saying that mm -hmm. is going to open up a whole new yes. world to the exactly. fucking thousands of or people whatever that people her. to that make it okay. It's going to make star, it okay because she star. said the exactly. shit. But imagine you where you are in exactly. your fame. If you said that and living your no, truth, I, how many people that follow exactly. you? Will I say feel the I same say way. my feelings regardless. You give but what I'm saying is it's not easy. No, no, that's true. But I I always speak my truth. Okay. Okay, so but I'm do. saying, yeah, I always speak my truth on stage and everything. But yeah. but even on stage, performing, the reason why I started my career in just a, a split in the middle, I want to be in front of straight people and if gay people are there, cool. But I'm not going after the gay audience right. is because I was afraid to be able to speak what I wanted to speak yeah. and them not accept it. Understand. Yeah, yeah. Which I is that. going yeah. in front of studs and they be like, if I say one thing, they be like, word, nigga. Exactly. We don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, what are you talking about? <laughs> you never, yeah. you never. You definitely have those battles. I see it all the time. Because you'd be like, I can't say this. I'd be like, I'm about to say it. I don't know what you're talking about. But, yeah, but, you're, but you, you can. Gotta, you, you have, have to, to give yourself the permission. Yeah, to and you have to stop not, that trend and yeah. you have to stop it you have the voice you have the platform it's your job and your duty god gave you this duty to do that and change it and you, be what yeah. you live your yes. truth yeah. like because there's so many people like you mm -hmm. that want are waiting for you but don't to have say that platform. And, you know what i mean and own that part of you and you're waiting for you it's not even about other people. You're waiting for I mean, you. It's an internal revelation. Yeah, you was inspired today by somebody mm -hmm. saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So imagine sure. who you can Because she's inspire. not. She's never you're, the you're, look. You're in a very, she's you're not in a very tight. Yeah. You're, you're in a very tight, very tight, tight category. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what makes where, where you are right now. Right. Right. You can say that, and I'm not judging you. I'm saying that we know your world already. Yeah, yeah. So you can say that, and people go, yeah. Yeah. But for temper to say some shit like that, or so that's big. I'm glad she said. She she just got pregnant last episode. Who? And we wouldn't expect Wait, she's her. Pregnant? No, no, she's not. She just said she would. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what she said. That's, that's what she talking about. It was great that she said that. Where you coming from now? My legs are crossed, but you don't know where I'm coming from. You both. I'm gonna show you some pictures after this. I mean, because you could be like this. Yeah, that, but that's how it was in the last. And you was bulking earlier. Thank you. Now that's how it was. Oh, I got that on video. But what I will tell you, where you're coming from is where I lived a lot of my. 
early adult life. I'm from Detroit, so it's like you either are a set or a fam. You have to play a certain role, mm -hmm. okay? And I knew for a fact I didn't want to be a, a stud. I didn't want to be a. I was always always. Uh, let me let me replace that. I never wanted to be technically a stud. I played basketball. I had hoop earrings. I wore a skirt. I wore a bomb ass dress to prom that hardly no one recognized who I was, and that's just. You know, I never, I, that's just who I felt on the inside. I've always acted as I should have. I never played a role, but for Detroit, I did. Because in their gay community, you either are set or found. I mean, that's just what it is. Yeah. You pick sides. And that's the heteronormative well, way but, of But, but of I life. wonder if that means like we just want to be who we want to be. That's what like, we sometimes do. Sometimes I want to yeah. be sexy, but I'm uncomfortable. So we have these conversations. <laughs> I love Kaori. Uh, we have certain conversations where she's like, bitch, you would never let this. And I don't like being fingered. I don't like being, you can't strap me on. You, but you might be able to finger me mm -hmm. if our connection and sex is so bomb mm -hmm. that I'm like, let me allow you to take your fingers and put let it go. in me. Look, but but you can't I come to me and be like, I'm gonna put my fingers in you. Cause I'm no. like, nah. Oh, the fuck you <laughs> You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, it's, it's interesting. I, I see what she's saying though. It's I interesting. Saying, I feel the same from, way. From where right. I was, where right. I, what right. I knew. It's not about, I don't it's, want it's, 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 it's a connection. It's a like, yeah, it's a type of an thing. experience. All right, that's like, been great. Yeah, so yeah, Bianca. Right? I'm sorry. The question was, <laughs> what was the question? Can you be a lesbian if you haven't had sex with a girl? I just, before we do go to the question, <laughs> I feel like a lot of this is based on outside perspective. And I think a lot of this is what we struggled with internally in growing in our transition and accepting mm -hmm. our sexuality. Yep. So at the end of the day, just like with this question, can she be a lesbian at such a young age? You don't have to identify with a particular label. Mm -hmm. Just take the time to figure out who you are inside. Okay. Um, I definitely think that you can be a lesbian if you haven't had sex uh, with a girl. Because I know personally, I came out at like 17. I was in college and I was just, I realized it really late. By really late, I mean 17 and a half. Um, and for me, all my friends, I was in the South. So I went to school in Hampton and all my friends were straight. Like all fucking all of them. And I told them like I'm a lesbian because I knew that I just, it's funny because for me when I was younger, guys asked me all the time and I was just like, ew, why? And, it, but it didn't make, because I didn't want to go out with guys, I didn't necessarily think, oh, I'm a lesbian. But then when I really realized yeah. it, I was like, oh yeah. shit, like I'm a lesbian. <laughs> and, but all my friends are straight. How do you know you're a lesbian? You haven't had sex with a guy. So like, I'm not a gold star. I was like, fuck it, I'll try it. And I was like, oh my God, it was like the worst. <laughs> I was like, why is this happening to me? Like the whole time until it was over. <laughs> and uh, so it just, I mean, for me, it just confirmed that I was gay. So, you know, I was like, okay, I, I am what I thought I was and what I knew I was. So I don't think that, to not have had sex with a woman means that you're not a lesbian. Because I had a sex with a guy first, and I still was like, oh, extra, extra proof, thanks. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I think you can be what you, what you think that you are, you can claim it. My problem yeah. is these people who call themselves lesbians while having sex with guys. I've had a couple people who tell me, like, they're like, oh, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, but you're dating a guy. They're like, yeah, but I still see myself with a woman in the future. I said, but right now you're fucking a man. So, and I, I literally had this conversation with somebody like a couple of days ago, like literally standing in the middle of the street. And I was like, she was like, yeah, I'm dating a guy right now, but woo, woo, but yeah, I'm still a lesbian. I'm like, no, no, you're not. I was like, I was like, people like you have the game fucked up. I said, cause guys talk to people who look more masculine all the time about girls. And they're always like, oh, Aaron, I fuck lesbians all the time. I'm mm -hmm. like, no, if they're fucking you, they're not a fucking lesbian. Mm -hmm. And I, so my thing is not so much if you haven't had sex with a girl, you can't be a lesbian. My thing is if you're fucking guys, you're not a lesbian. That's just my opinion and I'm sticking to it. So it is what it is. Next question was, you all must meet a lot of people. How do you keep up with the names and the faces? I want people to know I care when I meet them, but I can't keep up with all the names and they're not all that important sometimes. Shantae, oh, how do you keep up with the names and the faces? Don't ask me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't, I don't even know people's names I should know. I don't know famous people. I don't know nobody. I go on audition sometimes and they be like, you auditioning? For the nigga that did Titanic. I'm like, I <laughs> So yeah, don't ask me that. Don't ask you that. KR? Um, I think because I am in the service industry, it's it is an active exercise on the weekly basis at a minimum. Like when they introduce themselves to me, I have to repeat it back. I have to keep saying it in the conversation. Not only is it good for me to remember like name with face, 
but then it's a more personal connection. When they hear their name mm -hmm. more, like they feel more connected to me. So mm -hmm. I think psychologically I have to keep up. The names and faces. Okay, Tasha. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna remember your name, Damn. but I will give you a hug <laughs> and I will compliment you. That I will do. So you're still gonna feel like, I don't know, special and I'm gonna make you feel as though you know, you matter or whatever. Not saying that someone doesn't matter, but I won't dismiss you if I don't know your name. I feel some kind of way about the hugs I received now because they were just in general, like community hugs. I know your damn name. <laughs> it's not a damn community hug. You had me at the map that you had at the beach. And I was like, who has a map at the beach? You had a map at the beach. Just We was at the I need, dock. I need to be prepared. <laughs> Mello, how do you keep up with the names and the faces? It depends on the situation. I mean... Did we meet at an event? Because nine times out of 10, I'll save your social media, your phone number, X, Y, and Z. Because I've fucked up a couple of times. <laughs> I will, it's two girls that look the same. I'm like, yo, you look really good in, in the tea. Like, she's like, nah, that wasn't me. Right. <laughs> Damn. So I just stopped doing that because like, I juggle a lot and I don't want to disrespect anybody. I, I value all of those things. So hit me up, you know, and I will try my bestest to you know, and that's the worst. Keep it, keep it. It's What's very the worst hard. when like you encounter somebody and you don't remember shit, and like you have to bounce back so gracefully. Yeah. It happened to me recently. Like somebody comes, it's like, oh my god, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Thank you for coming. I'm just yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's good to see you too. Yeah. Like, it's a good and then time. she eventually got to the name, but yeah, I had got her so like involved in the excitement, yeah. and then she, then she gave me her name, and I was like. Okay. <laughs> and I think and that's the new millennium. I think that everything is about like meeting people and like yeah. trying to be in the new and trying to be in the crowd and you got to know everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, if I don't talk to you a lot, if I don't talk to you every day, or if there's no connection a lot, then I don't know you. I just don't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how famous you are or anything like that. If I don't say your name more than a few times a week, mm -hmm. I don't know you. And, yeah, and I'm happy with that, but I also don't <laughs> watch lot. TV. I don't watch, I don't listen to music. Too much I don't know play. what's hot out right now. Mm -hmm. I just know that I'm living. So, <laughs> Uzzah? Um, yeah, I tend to forget a lot about people's names, but I remember conversations though. So uh, I like to talk, obviously. So if there's, uh, if I have an extensive conversation with you, I tend to remember the people but not the names. And I'll ask if I, if I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. Bianca? Mm -hmm. So I'm really good with faces. So if I've had an interaction with you, I'll remember the interaction, um, but I probably won't remember your name. So I'll just say, hey love, how are you? <laughs> um, and then I, I'm, I'm not afraid to just say, remind me of your name again? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I meet too many people. I, I know too many people already. Like the names that I have to remember are already extensive. Mm -hmm. um, like if you, you would have to make an impression for me to remember your name. I don't even really remember faces that great. <laughs> I went on a date one, one day. I, I went on a date with this girl I met on her app. This girl talked to me for like a couple weeks, everything. We went, it wasn't until we got on the date. She's like, you know, we met before. I was like, I did not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Why didn't she mention that when you were her talking? talking? I have no idea. I was so now I'm sitting here looking awkward as shit because I was like, wait, what? You know, but that's when Siri should kick in. Like, hey Siri, do you remember this? <laughs> Siri's like, no, I do not. <laughs> so like, I try. Like, but if you make an impression or you do something that's interesting or funny or you say something profound or you make some kind of connection, like, because I find a lot of times when I'm talking to people, people talking to me, like you're kind of like talking, but your mm -hmm. eyes are wandering. So if you don't like look me in the eyes and make like look into my soul to make like that burning like connection, I probably won't. Just cause I meet literally so many people. Yeah. And it's like, it's overwhelming sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I do remember people who interact with me. So like, like I said before, like I'm the admin for less factor. So people hit me up like, oh, could you shout out such and such? I'm like, no, cause they never like shit on my page. They don't follow me. And I do remember that shit. So I'll remember your Instagram. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember if you supported me. And I remember if you didn't. Uh, so that's the things that I remember. So if you interact with me all the time, then yes. But like, if I met you once in 2012, I have no fucking clue who the fuck you are. Um, this question was asked last week. So they were like, it's Black History Month and we look back and reflect on, you know, older black people who made, you know, a moment. Do you think it's important that we look back and try to interact with older queer women? Like queer men in the community, why or why not? Bianca? Hmm. 
I think that's interesting. Um, of course, I think that if you want to connect with anybody from the past or anybody that's made an impact on black history, then you should do so. So, um, but unfortunately, I'm not familiar with any older black queer mm -hmm. women to research or look up to. So that's something that I would love to implement. Who's huh? up? I think it's important. I mean, it's is it necessary? Possibly. It just depends on where you are and what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Because like, I just found out about Jewel from Catch, want, Catch, uh, One Catch, Catch One? Oh That's my like, God, you just what? found out about Jewel. Well, well you told me about it, not recently, but like in the last couple of years. And like, cause I'm not from LA, so yeah, I don't, okay. I don't I know, do I didn't yeah. know about it, but I found out about it from you. Can you tell and, us about it? Uh, well, there was a documentary that they, Catch One yeah, which is like literally up the street. Yeah. And she the has like a medical catch. location, oh, catch. Uh, which is catch. really awesome. So I'm actually interested in finding out more about her. But when I found out about her story, I thought it was like amazing because I think it's, you know, you learn a lot because there's a divide between the younger generation and the older generation. So I think the older generations think that the younger ones don't know what they're talking about because activism looks different, mm -hmm. you know. So I think it's important to kind of bridge the gap where we have a conversation and just you know learn about the ways that they did things mm -hmm. to kind of either incorporate it or elevate what we're doing so if you have not watched Jules catch one documentary on netflix you need to do that shit. yeah definitely. like that's a historic moment in los angeles in queer history yes. black queer history yes. only person that actually mm -hmm. not just owned the building it's not she wasn't promoting a night she owned the building in the block yeah that's like that yes. yeah that's interesting you look into yes mm -hmm. mellow do you think it's important I need I really do think so because I think that's what's missed. Because I've been here. I mean, I'm from Detroit, so when I when I come here, I'm looking for a strong gay black community, and there's a lot. I'm, I'm not a catch, but I want to know more about the history of how it became, mm -hmm. and I think that's what needs to be told a lot more across the board. I'm not limited limited to LA. I'm not limited to anything. I just want to know exactly where it came from, and there's nothing that like focuses on that as a whole. Tasha? I'm like, growing up, I don't recall anyone I can look up to. It's people that I thought were gay, like Queen Latifah, MC Light, The Brat, but no one ever said anything. So I never really had that guidance. So I have to look at people like Ellen outside of my race for guidance, but I don't recall me having that. But Jewel, I do remember Maxine Waters coming to Jewel's 50th birthday party years ago, and I thought that was amazing. Okay. Nick, do you think it's important that we connect with older queer women? Yes, I actually think gay history should be taught at regular schooling. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. I think we all mm -hmm. need, and I, I visit the children's section often at bookstores. It's the first place I go to because I feel like that's what we need to be focusing on when we're feeding them. And we, mm -hmm. we have to educate everybody on our history. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you it's think important. it's important to connect with older queer women? Why or why not? I think for me growing up personally, and this is going to be far-fetched, but, um, you know, I grew up in Jehovah's Witness and all those things, so I didn't have an opportunity to try to look into those areas. And then uh, I did this show in New York City two years ago. It's called El Pac. It was a fundraiser with women who were lesbians in the government, uh, mayors. Uh, it, was, it was like a different Me Too movement for us. It was like Me Too to bitches. Uh, sorry, I know we don't like those words. She doesn't like that word. I know. All the time. I'm sorry. She's dying. It's, it's literally, it was just literally funny to see like women in power. And then like all these women were like lesbians and they were making money on a whole other scale. It was beautiful. Um, so I say that to say I actually got to meet and I have a picture with her, but it was a, a black woman who was a part of the riot in New York City Stonewall rights. Uh, and Stonewall rights. But I never looked into that stuff because in doing my career, I never wanted to just be focused on LGBT. Mm -hmm. Not because I didn't want to represent us, mm -hmm. but I wanted to be more mm -hmm. in a bigger in a bigger world to connect us all together. Oh yeah. That's yeah you didn't want to be boxed in. Yeah. I didn't want to be boxed in, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. that also yeah. took me away from the opportunity yeah, to researching because I didn't want to get, I, I do that even with being black. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to hate. I don't want to, if I watch something that's going to take me away from what my true, you know, 
what my true being is, mm -hmm. I don't want to learn it. Mm -hmm. I don't. And that comes with hate. That comes with a lot of things because you get to see stuff. And really, in life, you're going, people just don't understand who you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. <laughs> You know, I, I never really thought about it much, even personally. I just kind of like, there were gay people around in life. I was gay. Life was gay. That was it. You know, it wasn't until I saw Jules. Um, Cause like I grew up going to the camps. Like I literally went to school in Virginia. I flew all the way across the country for my 21st birthday to go to the catch that yeah. weekend. Like, yeah. But it wasn't until I saw her documentary that I knew what she really had to go to, through to have that space, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then, but then I felt guilty like shit. Had I known the struggle to, to get this, to acquire this space, to hold it down, to keep the police from raiding it, to keep black people safe. Like it was a, like the first queer black gay space in LA. And it's like, if I had connected and learned that earlier, then I probably would have like Protect. frequented it more yeah. instead of abandoning it. And like, oh, I can go to WeHo now, you know? Cause WeHo don't give a fuck about me. No. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They don't like black people. I don't think they care about lesbians at all. And then you're a black lesbian, they care about you even less. You know, so it wasn't until our document came, but of course it was after she had already sold the club, club. And you're like, damn it, had I known, I would have been there more. That you know what I mean? That's we have lines. nothing now, but probably this space, but I don't see us having anything. You know, I, I see the I see the community rebuilding itself. You yeah, know, we, like we Aisha has this space, we're at Stokely's. Mm -hmm. Um, I know Stuzo has a space, they have events at their mm -hmm. at their space. And then two doors down from them now, High and Tight, which is a barbershop. They have an event. Mm -hmm. They have events sometimes, I'm thinking, and they sell like yeah. vintage clothing. So I think like the movement is coming full, it's coming back. We're okay. growing if we support it. Yes. Yes. And that's really yes. what it is. Yes. Uh, Lena Waith, uh, there Lena Waith, there's 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 a lot of people in the industry that's trying. Mm -hmm. And all we need to do is support it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't. Mm -hmm. We True. don't, you know, there's there's white shows that's flourishing and i'm not saying you know white people can't be in this business but there's so many different avenues that we're allowed to have the beauty is that we have this social media and we have stuff like the les factor mm -hmm. um that allows you to speak that voice yeah. so you don't it doesn't even matter we can build this shit together yeah, right. Lisa Ray said it Issa Rae said, like, why are you looking for networks? Why are you looking for all these bigger people when the circle is yeah, right yeah, here? Yeah. Well, I definitely have my circle right here on stage. You know no, what I'm saying? But, 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 yeah, like, yeah, like everybody who's trying mm -hmm. to make it, who has followers, is also trying to find a way to get more followers. Mm -hmm. It's like, why? Yeah. Well, we're we're here exactly. already. Right. Like, yeah, this is us. Yeah. Yeah. You focus the platform that you already have. Just focus on, from. you know what I'm saying? But but people have to, you have to take away, you have to take away the views. You have to take away certain things. You have to understand talent. You mm -hmm. have to understand what people could provide for the stuff that you yeah. want to do. So don't just go for that's, the views. It's, it's go it's for facts. things that people want. I know she personally. likes vegan yeah. shit, so I can't come to her with me. <laughs> but I know where she excels at. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. I know where she excels at. I know where she excels at. So I get to use everybody in our own way, and we can all build together because we're all trying to be positive, yeah. and we're all trying to make and each other. Me, you have to meet me personally, though. You have to meet me personally to understand what I can bring to the table because I don't have a lot of followers. I don't have a lot of that. And because it was never of importance to me. I've always been about personal relationships. Mm -hmm. I keep a close knit circle and I understand moving with social media, you have to be X, Y, and Z. So I made that focus on my business pages, but it all starts with you with your business. But it's energy. But once you start, yeah. it's, it's also energy. Your, yeah, because you yeah. Just, doesn't mean yeah, shit. Your, you already have your network. Followers yeah, you already have your network. It's not about the amount yeah. of followers you have. It's about mm -hmm. you kind of cultivating and knowing how to kind of like branch out and grow together. You yeah. connect. Yeah. Stuzo, yeah. dumb. They, they, these motherfuckers showed up to a special <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, fucking wild and out thing that I did. And yeah. you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like they waited the entire night to talk to me. But, but to be honest, I wasn't even nowhere near as big as maybe they thought I was mm -hmm. at that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the fact that they stood around and, and waited, it's, it's, just, yes. it's just about like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Support. either you found out that we don't match and then you move on or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. But 
I allow myself, when I started growing, I was allowing myself to be about around people that I like being around. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Yeah. Uh, as corny as I became and as spiritual as I became, mm -hmm. I met her. I got her back into my life. Erin been in my life for years. I've been talking shit about her for so long because I hated her. But yeah. I love hate Erin. <laughs> yeah. And we we came back together because there was no real reason for us to be mad at each other. But you get to find that in different people mm -hmm. and then that's what you build. Yeah. So I met her, I met, I got her back in my life, I met her. And then whoever else stays in my life that's here right now. Right. Right. So yes, we're all about connections here <laughs> to the instructor. I don't know, the last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Outtakes, outtakes. Uh, right, right. So anyway, it's all about connections. So yes, we should look for, we should look back and connect with our older lesbians, but we don't know who those are. So much. Right. But we're gonna focus on true. building these connections here, so we can build community and build it's each true. other. We don't know. We don't know. I don't we know. can be them though for the next. We can generation. be them. I thought generation. someone was gonna cry during that speech. <laughs> and that was <laughs> one of y'all. So anyway, thank you for joining us on another episode of The Less Factor. It's been great. See you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Them, shake them, I can't take them. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play the villain. Oh. I'ma keep this egg, I keep the shit a million. Oh. I'm busting if we lost the love and feeling. Now you want that old thing back. That old thing back. Adios, bye bye, bye bye. Sayonara, Ellie. We try. Arriba, Don't ask why you.